oatmeal and Gwenny. It's what's for breakfast. Also, happy birthday, Gwenny. Bye, Baron. I love you. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye, Roxy. I love you. Have a good day. Bye, Vincent. I love you. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Still nothing, again. What is up with this? It's really shameful, guys. My heart is broken. What could be more important than meeting me at the door? Well, hello, and yes, this is Jill Maurer Jewelry. This is the herd necklace that I unboxed in Vlogmas, was it day one, I think? And the Brahma earrings. When you go to buy your Jill Maurer jewelry, be sure to use my discount code. It is linked below. All right, I decanted the Pinot Noir from yesterday, but it's not ready yet. So I'm gonna let that sit while I film this. Let's see what the wine is for today. And before that, I, I will say this. I don't want to do a lot of talking like I did last night. Um, I've been up pretty late editing these videos because of the Wi-Fi issues that I've had in the morning. Um, I've been staying up late and then getting up a little bit later. I, I would like to get to bed a little earlier tonight. So I was planning to do all this and cook the creamy Cajun chicken recipe that I didn't get to the other night but I am just too tired and that'll add a lot more time to my evening, so I will do that maybe tomorrow, maybe over the weekend. Although I already have a lot planned for the weekend, so hopefully I can do it tomorrow. Um, also, just FYI, the weekend videos are, let's see, the ones that are released on Saturday and Sunday, they're gonna come out later because I'm gonna sleep in and then when I wake up, I'm gonna edit in the mornings on those days. And then starting, not this weekend, but the following weekend, and until Christmas, I will not have to get up and go to work those days, so those will probably be up later than these weekday ones have been too. Just FYI. Okay, let's see what wine we have today. And today is day 10, happy Vlogmas day 10. Uh, a couple people, a couple very observant people, more observant than I, pointed out that yesterday, on day nine, I gave the dogs their day 10 treats. So today they're gonna get their nines. 
Also, I must have been really tired because I missed the opportunity to go to number nine, number nine, like several times. And I know from previous videos, many of you know what I'm talking about. All right, wine number 10 is a white. This looks interesting. It's a pretty label. Oh God, my leg hurts. I don't know what it is. The last week, left leg, right up at the hip joint, it's just been painful for some reason. And it only gets that way toward the end of the day. I don't know what it is, but it hurts. Okay, we've got a Chardonnay here for, by Fortune Favors. And where was this made and what year is it? The Santa Rita Hills 2019. So this needs to be chilled. I may have both wines tonight. I don't know. I, well, you know what? I was going to say I need to catch up, so I'm not doing the previous day's wine every day from now on, but maybe I should wait and catch up over the weekend because wine makes me even more tired. I think that's what I'll do. The weekend is so close. I think I will save this one for tomorrow and have the Pinot Noir tonight. I hope you don't mind. Hello, Roxy. Okay, next up we have day 10 and this has, this is a Sugarfina calendar and it has the flamingo on it. So this should be the flamingo candies. Oh, would you look at there, little flamingo candies. Flamingos, get a taste of paradise with these fruity pink grapefruit flavored flamingo gummies. Well, I like that. I'm getting close to halfway already. These are good. They are very grapefruity. They are true to their description. They, Sugarfina also has little grapefruit slices. They're the same gummy, but they have uh, sugar on them. They're coated in sugar. Both delicious. Or no, is it sour? I don't remember now. I think it's sugar because these are kind of sour. For this advent calendar, the do-it-yourself one, we're going to go with... We're going to go down here and up here and we're gonna go into the stocking and get the other half of the goodies in here Roxy it looks just like you all right what do we have oh what is this a handbag strap from dress up your purse oh, what is that more straps from dress up your purse what else could be in here Another strap from Dress Up Your Purse. Is there more? Indeed there is. Another strap from Dress Up Your Purse. Will it ever end? Let's hope not. Another strap from Dress Up Your Purse. And I believe there's one more thing in here. What could it be? Another strap from Dress Up Your Purse. Imagine that. Look at all those straps from Dress Up Your Purse. I'm gonna get all these unwrapped and then I'm gonna show them to you and model them in a few bags. All right, here is everything all unwrapped. The reason that I wanted to show you these straps and model them is because Melody, she owns Dress Up Your Purse, who was kind enough to send these pieces to me. She has a ton of strap options for you on her website. And for me, it can be a little difficult to find exactly what I want and to be sure that the strap that I'm picking out is what I want. So I wanted to have a variety of straps to show you and demonstrate on some bags to help you decide what it is that you really need. Especially if you're someone who's buying from the pre-loved market and you need to replace a damaged strap her straps, like the Vachetta straps and the Aben straps, look fantastic with Louis Vuitton bags. And then you can go with more decorative straps here too. It's just a fraction of what she has on her website. These are also wider straps. She has thin straps that I've shown you before, uh, like thin crossbody straps, for example. And she's always adding new things. She has a ton of variety. So let's start with the Vachetta straps. Okay, I wanted to set up like a normal video so that I'm hands-free and I can show you things. Okay, where should we start? First of all, let me tell you about some of the options that she has on the Vachetta straps. So you can get them in different lengths and widths, of course. 
You can also get different patinas. So you can get, I don't have an example of the really white patina. All the, the straps that I have right here are the honey patina. She has a uh, deep honey too that's darker than this, like vintage bags, that's what I'd recommend for those. And then she also has the new Vachetta that doesn't have a patina yet and will patina over time. So if you have a brand new bag that you wanna add a, a different strap to, you could get one of those and it'll age with your bag. Another thing you wanna pay attention to when you're making your purchase is that she has different glazing. So this one here, it's a little difficult for me to tell if this is in focus, so I apologize if it's not. But this has the red glazing, and then this one has a clear glazing, and you can see the difference there. Another thing to pay attention to besides the length and width is what's on the bottom of the strap or the two ends of the strap. So I'm gonna show you these each have, see, these two have the same end and clips, so I'll just compare these two. So you can see how those are different. And this has a giant clip, this has a small clip. This piece will come off, let me demonstrate that. You can open this up and pull it out and you can pull the clip off entirely on this strap and then slip it back in. So if you have a piece on your handbag that you want to attach the strap to but the clip is too small for it, you can just slip the vachetta right over it and I'll demonstrate that uh, right now. This is the strap that I use on my Delightful PM. This is the original model Delightful and it has these huge rings here. A clip will not fit over those, or at least that size clip won't. So I just tuck the strap that's on the bag, the little shoulder strap that I never use, I tuck that around the back, I slip the strap here through the ring, and I'm just gonna do it on one side. Then it hangs just like that, and it's perfect. And it matches, as you can see, it matches the patina of the bag perfectly too. Another thing to pay attention for when you're looking at the straps is whether it has any buckles on it where it's adjustable. This one is not adjustable. It's just a straight piece of vachetta, whereas this one has a buckle and it has holes so I can take it off and make it shorter or longer. That gives you some versatility. Also, I wanna try these big clips on the Delightful, and if you wanted to get this adjustable strap instead, would that fit? It fits quite easily. Looks like that. And then you could wear this, um, actually, I should model this for you, I guess, because people aren't used to seeing the Delightful with a long strap since it doesn't have one. And I have this, I have this on the shortest setting, this particular strap. And one thing I don't have for you is exactly which straps I have as far as the length and width of them. So forgive me for that, please. Okay, I love the Delightful as a shoulder, like a long shoulder bag, instead of the short handle that just sits over your shoulder and then the opening is right under your armpit. I don't like that. I like it long. And I really like that with this strap, I can wear it cross body and I could make it longer than this. And it's it makes it into this fabulous crossbody hobo bag. And when I was at Dior the other day, I was talking to my sales associate there, Amber, and I'd mentioned to her that I didn't have a Dior bag yet, and she was asking which one I would be interested in, and she asked what my favorite bag in my collection is, and the first thing that came to mind was my Delightful. And it's because I have the longer straps. If I didn't have those, this bag just, it wouldn't be very practical for me. This makes it a totally different bag, so much more usable. Love it. And I wanted to try a short strap because in the bag I wanted to try this on, I didn't get out. Let me go grab it. Well, I love speedies. I have the 25, the 30, and the 35. I'll show you the other two in a minute. But I got this strap especially for this bag, because none of my speedies are the bandolier, because I don't like that strip of leather down here. It, I, it makes it look more like a piece of luggage to me than a handbag, so I really prefer the look of just the top handle. However, I still want a shoulder strap on it because I really prefer shoulder straps. So what I have always done with my Speedy 30, which I'll show you in a minute, I take a strap from another bag and attach it to these clips. Now, people tell you not to do this. However, I have done it with no problem at all, many, many times. And you just need to keep an eye on it, make sure that it's not pulling the stitches too much and all. But I thought that this would be a great length 
for this little bag and when you drop the strap down it doesn't hang too far it still looks cute so i thought i could just take that and wear it over my shoulder that feels perfect let me stand up and show you yeah perfect length for this little bag so it's right here i can still get into it or i could just take it off my shoulder it's super easy cute great that is the perfect length for what I wanted for this bag. And can I just say, and I put it away, well, let me go grab it. My sales associate, Becca at Louis Vuitton, when I was there last night, she gave me this sample of a fragrance called Cactus Garden. Look at this color if you've never seen it before. It's pretty wild. Check that out. It's this bright green, very interesting color. It's actually just the bottle that's that color, not the fragrance itself. She told me if you want your home to smell like a spa, to spritz some of this. So I did that before I sat down and it is, I'm not a fragrance person, I think y'all know that. Um, I love this so far. It's really lovely. And Becca, by the way, is the fragrance person at my Louis Vuitton store at the Galleria. So she's the person to talk to about that. This is amazing. I may have to buy a bottle at some point. And I will link her information and Amber at Dior. I'll link their phone numbers below. If you're looking for something, you can text them and I do have their permission to share their information. All right, that was the Vachetta straps. Now let me show you an a Ben strap, the first one I've ever had from Melody. And okay, here's what I was talking about. This is my Speedy 30. I love this bag so much. If you're wondering what size Speedy to get, I have videos on that. Just search for Speedy, it'll pop up. But you see I have a strap on it now. This is from a Trevi bag, and Yota actually sent me this from her Trevi bag. Thank you, Yota, very generous. But I wanted to try Melody's strap and compare the Abens. Vitana Ben is very stiff, and some people have complained that the corners will dig into your shoulder. Personally, I've not had that issue, maybe because my shoulders are more padded than some people's. Let me show you a little comparison. The one with the giant clip is Vuitton. One over here is Melody's. So it looks like there might be a tiny color difference there. Not a big deal. It, it doesn't look like much of a color difference at all in person. I think it's exaggerated on the camera there with the lights. The Vuitton Eben is very smooth and shiny. Melody's is more matte and it has a very slight texture to it, a tiny, tiny pebble. And this strap has that same sort of end where you can take the clip off. So this would be versatile. But let me clip it to the bag. And this is a much longer strap than the one I just showed you. I think I might be able to do crossbody with this strap. Okay, on my shoulder, it sits way down here, which I actually like a lot. Speedy is very casual. And this is not an adjustable strap, it's just one length. So for me, that might be a little bit high for crossbody, but on a thinner person or a person who's a little shorter, that might work better. And I'm 5'3 for reference, I didn't say that yet. But it works really well for that long shoulder length. If I put the Trevi strap on, this has the same really short vibe that the Vachetta strap on the Azure bag had. So now with Melody's strap, I have more options for how I wanna wear my Speedy. If I wanna do a longer one, and they both have their advantages for sure. And that's one of the advantages of the straps from Dress Up Your Purse is it gives you more versatility in your collection, especially if you're on a budget because the Louis Vuitton straps are several hundred dollars each for a piece of leather with a clip at the end. And they're beautiful and they're very well made, but you know, it's a lot of money for just a strap. Now I wanted to show you, this is my Speedy 35. I think that this would look best with uh, some of the patterned bags. I think a, a vintage bag works well with some of the patterned bags that look like, that look like guitar straps. I get a little bit of hippie vibes from this. Especially red's not really my color, but especially the green one here. So the green and red straps are exactly the same. The color's just different. So I'm going to put this on. Let's see how that looks. This strap is adjustable. So that's cute. I think you have to have the right outfit for the pattern straps, but that's nice. It's long and then I could make it shorter, I think. No, I think I can make it longer. I think this might be the shortest length. And I'm gonna try this other one here and then I wanna show you something about the ends on these straps because I showed you how many options there are in the Vachetta. There are 
lots of options on these too. This is definitely the shortest length on that strap. This strap has little oh, Gucci vibes. I don't know, I'm not as familiar with Gucci bags, but I feel like that could work well with, I love these guitar strap bags. They're so comfortable, that material there. And okay, let me show you a couple things and I'm gonna model one more bag for you. Because I forgot I have chain straps to show you as well. Okay, what I wanna show you on these straps is that you can, you need to pay attention when you're buying them to the ends of them because they are different in two ways. One, you can see that the leather piece, and this is not Vachetta by the way, this is leather that's this color. This one is definitely leather that's, that is that color. This one, I'm not entirely sure, that might be Vachetta. Yeah, I think the smaller one is Vachetta. So you have the two different sizes of those leather pieces and then you also have the two different materials. So the Vachetta is going to change color over time with your bag. But then you also have, just like with the Vachetta stripes, I'm gonna show you the two grain straps now. You have options of getting that Vachetta in different patinas. So here's the really white one and I'll show you that against a bag that has white Vachetta on it. And then here's one that's the honey patina. And then she, is this one darker? That looks like it might, might be darker, it might be about the same. It's a little darker, but that's the one that doesn't change color. So you have all those options. And it looks like all of these have the same kind of teardrop clip, and none of those are removable. Also on these two green straps, if I can get close up here for you. I hope you're able to see the textures on these. This strap is a like a bigger texture, the thread use is thicker and it creates a bigger weave and it's also a thicker strap and it feels more like canvas. Whereas this one is more like a nylon strap. It's smoother, a little silkier, and it has a tighter weave and it's a little bit thinner, but they would both be super comfortable. I wanna show you these on my Terrain. It stopped recording, I'm back on, I hope I didn't miss anything. So I turned it around where this clip or the little buckle would be on the front and that way I can hang a clay from it and I can be super cool and trendy. What do you think? And of course you could hang one of Melody's Kirigami pouches there too. She doesn't call them Kirigami pouches, I think she calls them envelope pouches. Okay, here's the green strap and let's make, or the other green strap, let's make this as long as possible. Let's see if I can do a crossbody. Definitely can. This, that's too long actually. Very easy to adjust. You know, some straps can be such a pain. Easy peasy crossbody there. And I could use that on speedies too. Those are great. Okay, there was one more thing I want to show you and that is her metal chains. And I'm going to pick up the camera for this one. So I showed you a couple nights ago when I pulled these out of the stocking. These two with the U-clips, the silver and gold crossbody chains. And since then, I've been able to borrow a Louis Vuitton chain from a Felici, from a friend who has a Felici, and I'm going to move the metal or silver chain out of the way and show you these two side by side. So I know sometimes on the pre-loved market you'll find a Felici but it doesn't have a chain, or you'll have a Felici that does have a chain but the chain gets tarnished. So I just wanted to show you a little comparison of these two chains. Obviously the clips are different, but the chain itself is pretty much identical. The dress up your purse chain is a little tiny bit smaller than the other chain. The dress up your purse is just slightly lighter, not noticeable at all. Here's the larger gold chain. You can see those two look pretty similar too. Um, in terms of the color, but they are pretty much identical. Now one difference too is the length, and let me show you that. Okay, the dress up your purse is just this much longer. It's about two inches longer than the Felici chain, just so you're aware. And I think that's it, so I hope that was helpful. And of course, Melody has all kinds of other beautiful, tempting things on Dress Up Your Purse. And I forgot to mention this at the very beginning, I have a discount code, so make sure you use that when you shop and I have that linked below. Now let's get, the dogs have given up on me, but let's get to their advent calendar. Oh wait, I have wine to taste. Screw the dogs. Oh, it smells divine. Pinot Noir 2019 Paso Robles. It smells like dark berries. It's the same thing I always say about red wines. Cherries, maybe a little plum. That's pretty delicious. There's a dryness that starts to hit you after a few sips. This is good. I'm very much going to enjoy this while I edit. Okay, now let's get to the dogs. 
Okay, this is why I didn't cook tonight because every time I film, my room ends up looking like this and then I have to come in and clean it when I get home from work the next day. So I was just putting up a bunch of handbags and things in my closet. Hello, Baron. Now there are handbags everywhere again. <sighs> Life is so difficult. Hello, doggies. Do you know what time it is? You do. You both do, you know it. with a bunch of music. Pretty cool, the bikes are all lit up. It's very long. I've been hearing, I've been sitting here editing and I've been hearing this music blaring and I ignored it for a while and it just kept going on so I finally looked over at the window. I'm seeing the end of it coming now. And uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of bicyclists. It's pretty cool. There's the end of it. There's some cars. 